and, and can assume that the, the fact that this has been broadcast on live television throughout the world, there is also uh, local television stations here who are broadcast throughout the, the, the center and the venue there. We can pretty much assume that the leaders there are pretty much aware of what's going on outside. This violence was expected, of course. One thing we also have to uh, stress, Juanita, is that those clashes between the demonstrators and uh, uh, the, the police is, is only a limited uh, number of people who are trying to clash with the police. These are anarchists. These are not people who came here to protest against the G8. We've been following, again, those demonstrators, demonstrations for several hours. I have not seen a single anti-G8 or anti-globalization banner in those demonstrations. It, it appears that these people, all what they are interested in is to clash with the police. And as I said, they came really well prepared for it. Back to you. Uh, Alessio, the pictures we're seeing now, we're seeing that uh, security cordon that's been thrown up around uh, the conference area. The police, they're uh, trying to keep those protesters back. Clearly a, a, a huge security effort going on there. Are the, are the police confident they can keep uh, those protesters back? There is a gigantic security operation going on here, Juanita. There are 5,000 policemen, 5,000 military uh, policemen known as here as Carabinieri. There is the army. There is helicopters uh, fl uh, flying overhead. The entire perimeter of the, uh, of the G7 summit, of the G8 summit, has been cordoned off by a huge iron fence. All the uh, alleys and the streets uh, 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 surrounding the, 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 the summit have been blocked by either these fences or by those containers. So certainly there is an in a, a very, very big uh, security operation going on. However, one uh, secret service by police as he filmed these pictures not surprising then that amid this mayhem there were many injuries too and there have been dozens of arrests 20,000 police are on duty but there have been times when they've been outnumbered outfought and overwhelmed by the mob this carabinieri van surrounded attacked and pin down target practice for the stone throwers. And this is the protesters' target, the steel wall city within a city that's been specially built so that the world leaders can conduct their business in peace and tranquility. With the aid of water cannon, no one did breach the so-called red zone, despite the protesters' best efforts. And so, less than a mile away from here... ...anything more about who that person was, male or female, but that is the latest as we know it. However, we do have an additional tally of uh, other people who have been injured. At least 46 protesters and 31 police officers have now been hurt. 39, the total of people, of, uh, of people arrested so far in the clashes. Uh, again, this, uh, this person, this protester who uh, was killed has not been immediately identified uh, by police. But uh, apparently, according to eyewitnesses, his body lay in a pool of blood covered by a white sheet, surrounded by dozens of police who were keeping reporters at bay. Witnesses still giving conflicting accounts, some saying that he'd been shot, others saying that uh, the death was a result of a beating. But at, le at least we do know that he did sustain a gunshot wound. Uh, the, the protests are not in the immediate vicinity of the summit meeting itself. We're told... Uh, they are perhaps a mile away from the place where President Bush and other world leaders are meeting. Um, but there have been uh, some attempts to sort of storm these 15-foot chain-link fences that have been erected around the actual site of the summit meeting. Uh, a number of people ha have told the Italian authorities, in fact, uh, Italian leaders themselves have been critical of the decision made under a previous Italian government to hold these uh, meetings in Genoa. Sealed off the entire area, but there is a group of demonstrators on the edge of it shouting and chanting, killers, killers, killers at the police. Now, the police uh, seem to be very well prepared, Brian, but so do the protesters. Indeed, there were many veterans of other campaigns, as they would see at Gothenburg, perhaps Seattle as well. 18 months ago, uh, in their ranks today, many were wearing body armor. Lots of them had gas masks. They expected the worst. Let's differentiate between the moderate majority, the non-violent protesters against the G8, and the radical minority, the anarchists, some from Switzerland and Germany, others from Italy, and these are the people who took on the police. They broke up paving stones, hurled them at the police, and extremely aggressive policing followed. The tear gas canisters were, were being fired head high. 
there was liberal use of water cannon and people also got beat up. So the streets of Genoa, for those who were on them, protesting, resisting the assaults and covering it, it was a very dangerous place for them. Uh, the atmosphere there, Brian, was tense enough before. Now we're hearing of this death of a protester and another woman run over by a, apparently by a police van. Do you think that the uh, protesters now are going to be baying for the blood of the Carabinieri? It's very difficult to predict. I, there are these people already chanting killers, killers. I suppose you could say that's a predictable response. I think this tragedy has come as a seismic shock to everyone, but especially to the ranks of protesters. The violence for the moment certainly has diminished. A lot will depend now on what happens on Saturday when a scheduled march of many scores of thousands of protesters is due to take place. No doubt there'll be many prayers said for the dead demonstrator. It will become a morning, a wake for him. It will be a very emotional affair, whether it will trigger more violence at this stage. No, anything more, anything more specific, and why they were surrounding this police van from, from which bullets may very well have come. The Genoa police are confirming that a protester died, but they are not saying um, at whose hands or why. I'm sitting here right now kind of with a view over Genoa. I'm on a platform kind of over Genoa. There are huge clouds of smoke over the city. I don't know what they are, but there have been a lot of fires today, too. I'm sure that you've mentioned that in your coverage. Um, protesters have been setting dumpsters on fire and cars on fire.